All right, a news conference is beginning at the Monterey County Courthouse. The Smart family is there along with San Luis Obispo County Sheriff and, uh, and the DA. I'm very pleased today to finally acknowledge that after more than 26 years since her murder and being taken from her family, our criminal and victim justice system has now finally delivered justice for Kristen. The impact that Kristen Smart's disappearance and the then investigation has had on the Smart family, on our community, spanning a quarter century, has been profound. Today's guilty verdict provides some sense of justice for Kristen, the Smarts, and for our community. Today, justice delayed is not justice denied. We're very grateful to both juries for their hard work, for performing their civic duty. They've shown great commitment to their duty by enduring the long trial and reviewing the mountain of evidence that was presented. At this moment, Kristen Smart's father, Mr. Stan Smart, um, would like to make a statement on behalf of the family. I'd like to tell you that the family will not be taking any questions and we ask that you please respect their privacy at this time. Mr. Smart. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to make a uh, comment that my wife and I, we discussed uh, and briefly and uh, obviously uh, you all recognize this. Without Kristen, there is no joy or happiness in this verdict. After 26 years with today's split verdicts, we learned that our quest for justice for Kristen will continue. This has been an agonizingly long journey with more downs than ups, but we are grateful and appreciate the diligence and energy of the two juries to thoroughly review the facts and reach their decisions. Our faith in the justice system has been renewed by their commitment and effort. We feel fortunate to have relied on the professional talents and the commitment of the <clears throat> Deputy District Attorney Chris Prevell, District Attorney Dan Dow, Beth Raub, our victim witness advocate, and paralegal Becky Crippy, and the stellar team of the San Luis Obispo County District Attorney's Office. We would also like to acknowledge Sheriff Ian Parkinson, Detective Clint Cole, District Attorney and Investigator J.T. Camp, and the San Luis Obispo Sheriff's Office for their tireless commitment to making Kristen a priority. The steadfast efforts of this team and so many others ultimately made these trials possible. Finally, we are about, excuse me, finally, we are also thankful for the selfless contributions of Chris Lambert, his Your Own Backyard podcast, which brought not only information, new information, and also the needed light for the attention during our darkest moments, sharing Krista's voice and story. Our family is comforted and strengthened by the knowledge that Kristen continues to be held in the hearts and memories of so many people. We will never be able to personally thank everyone, but please know our gratitude and love goes out for each of you who have been with us for this long, overwhelming, and emotional journey. We're forever stronger together. Most importantly, to our Kristen, almost three decades ago, our lives were irreparably changed on the night you disappeared. Know that your spirit lives on in each and every one of us. Every day, not a single day goes by that you aren't missed, remembered, loved, and celebrated. Thank you. I'm just going to briefly add my appreciation to everyone that my husband spoke about. 
and to each person who has been the wind beneath our wings to get us to this day. Thank you so much. Thank you.